What's up nerds, my name is Coach Olney and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today's video marks a new series where I'm going to be reviewing corporate TikTok accounts because uh, I think this is gonna be really funny. A lot of companies and brands are coming to TikTok now. They understand it's here to stay, it's huge, whatever. And some of them do it really good. Some of them do it really bad, and overall, uh, I think it's just interesting content. So I posted a TikTok asking you guys to tag brands that you'd like me to review, and one of the most recommended is today's video, which is Steel Series. Let's get into the video. So as I said, today's video is going to be Steel Series. Uh, so I just followed them, and uh, we're gonna start with the bio. So obviously, you got their logo. They're verified. They got 174,000 followers. They're following 105 people. Um, their bio says, "No, you can't have a free headset." giving away two gaming setups, click the link. A little, little hypocritical there. So in the in the same bio, you're telling me I can't have a free headset, but also you're giving away two gaming setups? I don't know about that, Steel Series. Let's see who they're following, shall we? Got 105 people. Oh wait, are they following me? Oh, they are following me, let's go. <laughs> so I guess they're following me. Um, they're following some of my friends, following my buddy Tanzer. Uh, we're both friends with the Minnesota Rocker. That's pretty cool. Um, Oh, they're following Tony Tech Bites. Let's go. He's not following me back. That's kind of rude, Tony. They're following Tyga. Okay. Lauren Gray, Dixie D'Amelio. I don't know what they have to do with Steel Series. I mean, maybe they're gamers. I don't know. I wish it sorted like who we're fr we're both friends with, because that'd be cool. Following a lot of these guys. I know some of them. All right. So there's nothing too surprising with who they're following, other than KFC Gaming. Interesting. Okay, so anyway, let's see what kind of content Steel Series is posting. I haven't watched any of these, to be honest. When we just started recording this, I followed them. A lot of people tagged and said that they made good content. So um, right off the bat, though, just looking at their page, it looks like that this guy right here in this video. So the question account. is, how do I reach out for sponsorships? Um, so that's pretty interesting. So they have like one guy, it looks like that, like runs their official Steel Series account. Um, that's a lot of power to put in his hands. I don't know. All right, let's start from the beginning. Let's see what they just posted. Okay, for anyone who doesn't know, ago. this is the Rival 650, same. It's, okay, so it's just a review so of weights. one of their products, but I, got I guess. To think. I'm not gonna try to rip. I'm just gonna be completely honest. This video kind of bored me. Um, he's got like a really soft music playing in the background. It makes me just kind of want to go to sleep. So, nah, I'm sorry, don't come at me. People say your bio says no free headsets, but what about a keyboard? Okay. So I can already tell that this guy is very fed up with getting DMs about free products, which is, I don't know, that's an interesting stance to take so far. How do I reach out for sponsorships? How do I get in contact with the company? I want to get sponsored. I actually want to grow my stream. How do I do it? The truth is, it depends on the company. There are a lot of different ways that this actually happens in the esports and in the gaming industry. Let me break it down a little bit so it's a little bit easier to understand. Some companies have public sign-up places where you can go submit your information. They look at all of the applications and then they actually pick people from that sign-up. Other companies, it's not as black and white and they just have teams of people that are always looking for content creators, up and coming streamers that they're reaching out to and trying to partner with. Other times you might just get lucky and somebody at the company sees a piece of content that you put out and they reach out to you. The important things though, are you focusing on your content, consistency, and act- I promise I'm not making this video to attack Steel Series, but I need to, I need to speak my mind. I'm sorry, I need to speak my mind. Here's my problem with this video. I like that he's engaging with the community. He's responding to comments. That's really cool. Most companies don't do that kind of stuff. I like that he's doing that. I like that he's responding to questions. First thing, they are Steel Series. Uh, they make gaming products, gaming headsets like he's wearing. Why is the audio so bad? The audio is so bad in this. Um, that's, my, that's my first gripe. Second one is I really wish, this is such a great opportunity for Steel Series to be like, hey, this is what we look for in our in the people that we sponsor. Um, we give free products to people who are uh, 100 to 250K on this app and want to get involved with our, our products. We sponsor streamers usually if they're averaging 300 viewers or more or whatever. Like this is a perfect opportunity for them to be transparent and just be like, hey, this is kind of what we look for if you do want a free headset, if you do want to get sponsored by us. Instead, he was just like, yeah, you fill out applications on the website, you click sponsorship, you fill it out, we'll maybe contact you. Um, he went broad with it, and that's not, I, I feel like this was an opportunity for him to go deep, and he just went broad with it, and that's unfortunate. Maybe he has other content where he goes deeper and is more transparent, but I don't, 
if you're coming right at someone like this and are able to actually get in front of them, I kind of wish you would give a direct response. I don't know. Let's be honest, we all know someone with a bio that looks exactly like this. Their profile picture is a Fortnite skin or a famous TikTok girl. Their bio says their age, that they play Fortnite competitive, that they're not a simp. Maybe it has $12 in earnings. <laughs> Then you take a look at their tweets. <laughs> That's pretty good. They're tweeting giveaways. They're replying to big streamers without getting any interaction on their own tweet, but they just keep on replying. I see dozens of accounts like this a day. Let's All right, he got me with the twelve dollars of earnings. I like that. But why are you coming out the man for tweeting or responding to big streamers? That's what you should be doing. That's 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 good. If you're at if you want to be part of the community, you should be part of the community. Respond to big streamers. I mean, he's, he, what he's saying is like spamming big streamers about stuff. I get that, chill. But if you're actually just responding or engaging in a conversation on Twitter, go for it. That was pretty good, though. That's probably the best one so far. Okay, maybe he answers my question here. He trolled me. <laughs> it's all right. Here's another free headset one. Bro, he is dragging this joke out. No. <laughs> all right, it was a little dragged out. We all knew it was coming. It still made me laugh, so I'll give it to him. Um, again, it's just kind of like I, I, under, I understand. I understand the humor of it. I understand it's a joke. Like you get spam this all day. Problem is, one, he's feeding into it, so people ask for headsets now. Like, maybe that's it. Maybe it's an inside joke I'm not in on, where like, he's spamming you can't have a free headset, so everyone spams him to get a free headset. I don't know. It, just from an outside looking in, it seems kind of, it's, it's a little repetitive. Some more headset ones. All right, I think I've come to a conclusion. Let's minimize the screen. All right, Mr. Steel Series on TikTok. Here's my breakdown. Overall, I think you guys are awesome. I think it's cool. I think that it's really cool that you engage with your community, you respond to questions, you have someone that has a personal connection on TikTok that you know does your channel and makes videos interacting with people, duetting with them. I think that's really cool. I um, also saw that he does like live streams and will like you know connect that way with an audience. Really cool, really good thing for a brand to do. Pat on the back. The other thing, I think it's just cool that SteelSeries is doing that. They trusted someone to take a social media account and run with it and prove that you can build a new audience and uh, you know introduce your products to a new wave and generation of gamers, which is really cool and it's smart on their part. So good job there. I also like that they didn't use the opportunity just to try to sell their products. Um, they did some review videos, but for the most part, they weren't like just like, hey, buy this product. It was something cool about their product or just using their products um, to show something, which I think is really smart. Like people don't like to be sold things. And when you make, when people just make TikToks that are just direct ads for something, it doesn't go over well. So I think they did a really good job of balancing the like, Hey, this is our really cool mouse. Um, this is a really cool keyboard, but also like, you know, uh, not just trying to shove it in your face to buy it, but actually show you or add some sort of entertainment value. So that was really good too. Things I didn't like about the account. I, I think you know where I'm going with this. I don't understand why he attacks everyone that wants a free headset. Like, it's just a weird stance to me. I don't know. It, it's like, I, I, maybe it is this inside joke that I'm just like not in on. But like I said in the beginning, I think he just needs to take the opportunity to educate these kids on actually what it takes to get a sponsorship from a company like SteelSeries. That's important information that kids would love to know and it would stop people from asking headsets or asking for headsets and stuff. If you just benchmarked roughly, I know there's not an exact science to it, I get it, I work, I work with this type of stuff, but you can at least benchmark what you need to have or where you need to be to get certain stuff. Um, and I think that would be good information to share with your fans and your followers in general. They also seem to be one of the few corporate TikTok accounts that doesn't like reshare creators videos a lot. And I don't know if that means that they just don't engage with creators that often um, or what, like when you take an account like G Fuel or HyperX or something um, that have good followings on TikTok, a lot of their content comes from them sponsoring TikTok creators and then they repost it on their page with their products. And I kind of like that formula. I kind of, I use it myself for our, our nerd channel. Um, because it, it, you know, it brings a familiarity to your channel and shows, oh, hey, this person trusts our products, you should too. I think it's a good strategy overall. 
and I didn't really see it incorporated into their TikTok. Um, not necessary, but it's just something to throw out there. Overall, I hope it didn't seem like I was hating on SteelSeries, and if they're watching this, like, I wasn't. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest, and, and I, I didn't prep, I didn't watch your videos beforehand, so it was just my honest feedback. Overall though, I think you guys are killing it. You're doing way better than a lot of other companies that I've seen on this app, um, and in general, just building your brand. TikTok is so huge because those kids are going to be your lifelong customers. You're talking about 12, 13 year olds. If they love your products now, they're gonna be lifelong gamers and use, their, use your products. So you guys are doing that right. Um, so whoever made that call to start that TikTok, good job, man. Uh, I'm guessing it's the guy that's running it. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this series. I'm going to probably do a couple more of these and just feel it out. I've got a lot of other recommendations. I'm gonna do a couple other gaming companies. I'm probably gonna do HyperX's maybe tomorrow uh, just to go side by side to you know similar companies and how they run their TikToks. And then I'm gonna branch out. I got tagged in like some, I think Fruit Rollup has one, uh, Netflix has one, I don't know. There's a bunch of random companies that have it. So I'm gonna dive deeper, but I'm gonna start this week with gaming companies. So hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video. See you, nerds.